This man is addicted to becoming a cat. I spent over a million dollars on over a thousand cosmetic procedures. <laughs> Starting off this botched list, at number 10, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein, who is also known as Catwoman. She is literally the poster child for plastic surgery gone wrong. Not really a poster you want to be on. Apparently, she has undergone dozens of plastic surgeries in an effort to win back her husband. She is rumored to have spent more than $4 million on plastic surgery because her husband has a weird big cat fetish. Even though to the rest of us, she looks like one big botched plastic surgery disaster, she apparently got exactly what she wanted and she's very happy with what she sees in the mirror. So you know what, we can't really judge her then. Moving into number 9 is Kelly Johnson. She began modeling when she was only 10 years old, but when she was 16 years old, a photographer told her that she should change her physical appearance in order to meet the beauty standards of the industry. So she took this to heart and she eventually got a nose job. Immediately after the surgery, she knew something was wrong. There was a piece of cartilage sticking out of her nostrils. There were two different sizes and shapes. Like, what is going on there? She returned to her doctors, and during her second surgery, he only gave her a local anesthetic and left her alone in the room. She got up, looked in the mirror, and she saw bones and blood. The second surgery was unsuccessful, and I guess she will no longer be modeling, which is, it sucks. Number eight brings us to Jordan James Park. This 23 year old has had nearly 50 plastic surgery procedures which total about $150,000. I mean what did he do for money? This guy's only 23 years old. When he was 21 years old he went back to get his lips done and he asked for a natural look with a little bit of definition. Well they got bigger and bigger as time went on. There was even a time where his lips was leaking fluids. Yeah that's not healthy at all. I mean is this real life right now? Your lips should not be leaking anything. Twerking into number 7 is Jana Stoner. This former model has double D size breast implants in her butt. So you guys thought I was going to say in her chest. No. After she had a botched surgery in Mexico, uh, that's where she went wrong first of all, Mexico. Well, she was left disfigured. Her butt implants are so big and loose, her butt implants twerk on their own. After the new plastic surgeon examined her, he discovered that each implant has 650cc of silicone and in order to fix the botched surgery, she will need a Botox lift, which will end up leaving her with a scar that will remove most of her tattoo on her lower back. Rodrigo Elvis, aka the human Ken doll, makes its way onto this list at number six. After going under the knife multiple times and after having an MRSA infection on his nose, Rodrigo Elvis is at risk of losing his nose altogether. He can no longer use his nose to breathe and it's so severely damaged that he enlisted the help of a TV series boxed plastic surgeons. One of the doctors said that if he attempts to do another surgery while the skin is still healing, his nose will turn black die and just fall off. I feel so bad for this guy. I hope that one day his nose will be able to get fixed and he's going to be able to breathe again. Starting us off, number 10, we have Valerie Lukanova. Valerie Lukanova is 34 years old and she was born in the Soviet Union back when it was still called the Soviet Union. She is more commonly known as the human Barbie. And I'm sure you guys can see why. Well, you guys are looking at all the images. After she won Miss Diamond Crown of the World in 2007, she became very obsessed with her looks and started getting surgeries to enhance them. One of her first surgeries was getting breast implants, which she initially denied, but she later admitted to it. While she claimed to other otherwise be all natural. It has been speculated that she has gone countless of other surgeries and procedures. Some people think that she's gone a nose job, a brow lift, cheek reduction, liposuction, tummy tuck, and has even shaved down her jawline and gotten a rib removed. I mean, ah. Something that I just can't consider. She doesn't exactly have the healthiest eating regimen. Living strictly on a liquid and raw veggie diet, she also allows herself to eat for a couple hours after working out. I guess it's a bit of a step up from her previous Brevarian diet of air and sunshine, but now I'm craving a cheeseburger and for someone who seems so fixated on her physical appearance, she also claims to be a spiritual guru and strongly believes in transcending the physical realm. I mean, if you believe that the physical realm is unimportant, 
in the grand scheme of things, why spend so much time and money alternating your physical body? Anyway, she also believes that she comes from Venus and was sent to Earth to teach humans something. Next up, number nine, we have Sahar Tabar. Well now, if you've been on the internet in the past few years, I mean everyone has been who hasn't, I know you guys might recognize this person, Shahar Tabar's real name is Fatima Ka. She's 22 years old from Iran. Back in 2017, she went viral for some terrifying and frankly worrying pictures that showed her with some dramatic plastic surgery and makeup. A lot of people started calling her a zombie version of Angelina Jolie, but she also says that looking like Jolie was never her goal. In fact, she later said in an interview on an Iranian TV that her inspiration was actually the title character in Tim Burton's movie Corpse Bride. If her goal was looking absolutely terrifying, then you know what? Mission accomplished. Number eight, we have Lacey Wilde. Lacey Wilde is a 51 year old mother to six children. She had her first surgery about 30 years ago when she was in her early 20s. While she had just about every cosmetic procedure known to man, there's one that stands out more than the others. Before she got started with her surgeries, she had a triple A cup and she felt very insecure about that. Now over 19 implants later, she is now a triple Q cup. I don't even know what that is. I can't even imagine how much her back hurts. The additional weight from these implants is so heavy that they actually cause her pectoral muscles to rip and she literally had to get pigskin implanted inside of her to help support the weight. On top of the numerous implants, Lacey has also gotten skin expanders, brow lifts and nose jobs, lip injections, Brazilian butt lifts, tummy tucks, and body lifts. Overall, she spent millions of dollars on cosmetic surgeries. Moving into number seven, we have Toby Sheldon. Well, he went viral in the early 2010s for getting numerous plastic surgeries in an effort to look like the Canadian pop star Justin Bieber. But the thing is, it's not the current Justin Bieber, it's Justin Bieber when he was like 12 years old. Justin Bieber before puberty. His procedures included a hairline transplant, eyelid skin removal, is this real life right now? What is that? Lip procedures and even a chin or a reduction. He got rid of some of his chin. Overall, he ended up spending roughly $100,000 in all of his procedures. He even appeared in the TV show Botched, uh, that's where I've seen him on. And also he was on My Strange Addiction. Unfortunately, he was unable to enjoy his expensive features and newfound fame for very long because 2015, at the age of 34 years old, Toby Sheldon was actually found dead in a hotel room from multiple drug intoxications. Rhodey Elves comes up next on our list at number six. Previously known as the human Ken doll, Rhodey Elves has recently come out as a transgender woman. Well, she's now proudly coming forward by saying that despite her previous surgeries intended to make her look like, you know, the ideal man, she has always felt more like a Barbie. At 36 years old, she has spent over $650,000 on procedures to look like Barbie's boyfriend, Ken. The first of which happened when she was 17 years old. She has now had over 70 cosmetic procedures that includes removing four ribs, a cat eye lift, she has had nose surgeries. In fact, she got so many nose surgeries that her nose actually got infected. It was so infected that it started to disintegrate. Personally, the mental image I have right now is more like Voldemort vibe, you know, from Harry Potter. You know the guy, no nose. <laughs> Ophelia Vanity is next. Starting us off at number 10 is Sahar Tabe. Dubbed as the Iranian Angelina Jolie lookalike, 19 year old Sahar went viral on Instagram in 2017 for her very bizarre looking post. And I admit, I saw pictures of her as well when this was going on, and I legitimately couldn't believe my eyes. Sahar claimed to have undertaken over 50 surgeries in order to mimic and look like her idol, Angelina Jolie. And I know people getting plastic surgery to look like celebrities is is actually quite common, but this case was absolutely ghostly. People started saying she looked like a zombie and they couldn't quite understand how her surgeries were able to change her face to that much of a degree. Surgery aside, Sahar also said she'd been dieting in order to look like Jolie as well and was proud to be at 40 kilograms, which is actually critically unhealthy for her height and age. However, some people didn't quite believe her pictures and claimed she had clearly photoshopped them. And later that year, they turned out to be right. 
Coming in at number 9, we have Kelso Santabanes. Originally from Brazil, 20 year old Kelso started his transformation into becoming a Ken doll at the tender age of 16. He won a modeling contest at 16 and he shot to fame, charging nearly £10,000 for any VIP appearances. Growing up, he was a big doll enthusiast and claimed his parents had always told him he looked like a doll, and that's what inspired him to become a human puppet. He had four operations on his nose, jaw, and chin, and also got silicone implants in his chest to mimic Barbie's boyfriend Ken. Sadly, Kelso passed away in 2015, but while he was alive, he strove to make sure everything he wore, said and did was exactly Ken-like. I didn't actually know there were two human Ken dolls, I've only ever heard about Justin Jedlicka who will make an appearance later on in the list, but I'm actually finding out there's a lot of Ken dolls. At number 8 is Chloe Khan, or if you've ever watched British X Factor, you may know her as Chloe Mafia. Chloe is a British model who successfully auditioned for X Factor back in 2010 at the age of 18. She got kicked out of the boot camp stage after showing up smelling like vodka and admitting she'd spent the previous night partying away. After her small shoot to fame, Chloe, who is now a TV personality, YouTuber and Instagram influencer, underwent a series of surgeries. She had a Brazilian butt lift, lip enhancements, a breast augmentation and a series of nose jobs. After a second nose job which she had done in Ukraine by a surgeon she found on Instagram, Chloe was left unable to smell or properly breathe and actually collapsed on her kitchen floor for two days when she returned home. I'm not saying Instagram is bad to find surgeons but it's probably not the best place. She even wrote a goodbye note to her daughter on her phone because she claimed she thought she was gonna die. Filling our number 7 slot we have Kelly Johnson. Now Kelly is a model and so I don't even have to state the obvious. The modeling industry is probably the harshest industry ever when it comes to appearance and weight especially. Fact. Kelly had been modeling since she was 10 years old, basically a seasoned pro, when at the age of 16 a photographer told her she would never make it in the industry unless she got a nose job. First of all, who even has the right to say that to anyone? I feel like that's just so rude. Sadly, Kelly ended up taking his advice and wound up with a pretty botched rhinoplasty. What the surgeon claimed was just a bit of swelling was in fact a piece of cartilage sticking out of her nose. Kelly was mortified as anyone would be. A year later, the same surgeon offered to fix it free of cost, but this time it was even worse. But also, no, Kelly, you can't go to the same man who created your problem in order to fix your problem. That was never gonna end well. After the second surgery, her nose started leaning very much to the left. With little to no hope, she left her modeling career altogether. And all because of that damn photographer's comment. Watch what you say, people. Now at number six is Mauricio Goldie, another Kendall. I thought there was only one. Heck, then I thought there were only two. But now this is the third one I'm hearing about, and there are probably a lot more where that came from. Now, this guy claims he's the original Brazilian Kendall before Kelso was even in the picture. But Mauricio claims he's only had 15 surgeries in his lifetime thus far, and those include four rhinoplasties, liposuction, and finally, arm and chest implants. But the craziest part of the story is that in 2016, against the advice of his surgeons and doctors claiming it would be too dangerous and risky, Mauricio removed two of his ribs in his desperate pursuit to achieve his Ken-like stature. I think this is the second time in my life I've heard of someone removing their ribs. I think the first time was the singer Marilyn Manson when I was like 13 years old and I was heavily spooked. But that actually turned out to be a hoax and he didn't remove his ribs at all. Marilyn Manson, not Mauricio. Starting us off at number 10 is the misplaced vagina. Yeah, don't even get me started, you guys. She says uh, she's literally about to get started. <laughs> Lol. So back in 2014, Desiree White went to Tijuana, Mexico to get a tummy tuck. She went in for surgery, but for some reason, there was no anesthesiologist there. So to make up for that, the medical team thought it would be a great idea to place blocks of ice on her midsection to numb her skin. Because apparently, that seemed like a great idea to them, and they completely neglected the fact that ice eventually kills skin. And also, also, I saw numb you enough for you to withstand someone cutting into your stomach. But anyway. I'm not the surgeon. Either way, by the time it was done, the surgeons had pulled her pubic area up onto her stomach, leaving her disfigured and her vagina kind of very misplaced. She ended up on the TV show Botched, and the surgeons had to lower her midsection and pubic area somehow and work with the ice damaged dead skin. And that's just. 
I just feel bad that she had to go through that. Coming in at number 9 is Seventeen going on 70. So a decade or more ago, 17 year old Sho Lian realized she had had enough of her thin face. I wish I had that problem, I just had a fat ass face. Either way, she was so pressured to have round cute cheeks, so she started researching a bunch of plastic surgery clinics. Everything was way too pricey for her, except this one clinic that her friend had recommended to her. The clinic didn't have its operating license yet, but the procedure was affordable. Over the course of a month, she was injected with some substance over 10 times in order to get the plumpness that she wanted. By 2009, she realized her face was swelling, her eyes and nose were changing, shape almost. By 2013 her eyes became droopy, her face was swollen and she was losing hair and she just started looking like an elderly woman not a 28 year old woman. After contemplating suicide a bunch of times she visited various doctors and finally found out that they had injected hydrophilic polyacrylamide gel into her face that was specifically banned from cosmetic surgery because of its harmful effects on the body. She obviously had corrective surgery done but there's only so much you can do when it's been in your body for that long. Like you had one job, no wonder they didn't have their operating license. At number 8 we have D. Stein. Now this woman, I kid you not, and I mean this with no disrespect whatsoever, this woman has the largest breasts I've ever seen in my life. So back in 2015, D was 53 years old, but decades prior, she used to work as an escort and sort of became addicted to getting bigger and bigger breast implants. Mind you, this was decades ago, so a breast augmentation was still a fairly risky new surgery. She had traditional implants put in, called double lumens, which contained both saline and silicone. Her largest size was 3000cc implants and that meant her boobs weighed 30 pounds by themselves. Can you just let that sink in for a second? Like that is heavy. She later appeared on botch because one of her breasts had completely deflated and surgeons kept turning her away saying the surgery was just impossible. Doctors said the saline part on the outside of the left breast had ruptured which caused the whole thing to look like a deflating balloon. And on top of that there was also a fungus ball inside the implant. Surgeons said her breast would die if she doesn't fix it, and the fact that the human body just wasn't even equipped to handle that level of volume expansion in breast tissue. Like it was insane. Thankfully Dr. Dubro was able to do the surgery and keep her nipple and breast tissue alive and leave her with size D breasts. Which is I mean, which is a pretty good outcome I feel. You know? Filling on number 7 slot is Dawn. So back in 2015, Dawn, a mum from Newcastle, decided to get an eyelid lift after losing a whopping 56 pounds after a gastric bypass surgery. She felt she had lost a lot of volume from her face and her eyelids just looked really droopy. The surgeon that did her bariatric surgery advised that she fix both upper and lower lids and so she did. When she woke up, she knew something was just really wrong. Her eyes would be streaming constantly but the surgeons just kept telling her she was fine. Even while she tried to sleep, her eyes would be running and the worst was when her son realized she just looked very weird when she slept and that's because her eyes were open when she slept because she couldn't physically close them. Horrified, she tried suing the surgeon who did the procedure but he claimed to be in bankruptcy and also denied negligence. Bruh, you're clearly negligent as hell mate, what are you even talking about? She can't even close her eyes while she sleeps now. The surgeon completely dodged the lawsuit which left Dawn devastated, me included by proxy and I'm just mad. I'm mad. Dawn, I'm on your side. Disgusting. Disgusting. Now at number 6 is The Fool. So Dr. Nasser from Botch was asked about the worst plastic surgery cases he's ever had to deal with and there was one that just really shocked me. Now he shared that there was a woman called Lauren that came in who had 5 previous rhinoplasties aka nose jobs. She told them that during her last rhinoplasty the doctor had kept her fully awake and he had done it in his office not even in the surgery centre. Like is that not illegal? Can you perform a nose job in an office? Like I'm pretty sure you can't, someone back me up here please. Either way, it gets a lot bloody worse. The surgeon then left her there for 30 minutes with her nose fully cut open while he went to see a few other patients. Like I'm sorry? Like I know we're in the middle of a nose job but can you just wait here, I need to see these other patients. The disrespect. Either way, after waiting a while, Lauren ended up getting up, going to the bathroom and looking at her face. And the sight of her face horrified her so much that she fainted and hit her face on the bathroom floor. Obviously, these weren't sterile conditions and her nose was utterly destroyed. 
I'm so pissed off. Dude, honestly, I'm sorry. If I was her sitting in that chair awake with my nose open and the doctor said he had to go see other patients, I would have knocked him out straight up. I don't even care. I don't even care. I would have sewed up my nose myself. Sewed it back up, knocked him out, walked out of there. Screw that. I'm pissed. <laughs> Alright, starting things off now, at number 10, we have April Brown. Now this woman from LA was bullied when she was younger for having a flat butt. So when someone came into her workplace saying they had silicone injections for her, April jumped at the chance. However, it turned out that the injections were actually bathroom sealant. You shouldn't put that in your body. She felt mortally ill and eventually slipped into a coma. Now to save her life, surgeons actually performed 27 operations on her, including a buttock amputation and having both arms and both legs amputated. When April woke up, she said she was just happy that the pain was finally gone and now warns other people who are thinking of getting plastic surgery that they are already born whole and perfect and complete. At number 9 now, we have a woman who wanted to remain anonymous, so I'm just going to call her Bone Eye. That's not a random name, I just made up, you'll find out why she's called that now. This woman in her late 60s visited an LA clinic to get a facelift combined with injections of her own stem cells. The whole thing cost her around $20,000 and things seemed totally fine up until three months later when her eyes started hurting and making a clicking noise. Hmm. She went into surgery and doctors actually dug out small chunks of bone from the woman's eyelids. The clicking was the sound of bone grinding inside her eye. Oh god. Now it turns out the stem cells that they injected into her can turn into any other type of cell and they also injected a filler that contained calcium which turned the stem cells into pure bone. Now you see why I called her bone eye and now you see why we should just move on before I start to feel sick. Coming in at number 8 now we have Crystal Morgan. This Australian woman visited the Cosmetic Institute Sydney or TCI for a breast augmentation. When she woke up from the operation she was surrounded by doctors and nurses and she quickly realized something was very wrong she couldn't breathe. Crystal said it got worse and worse and she was eventually rushed into an ambulance. Now during the operation on her breast, the surgeons had actually punctured her lung and the whole thing had collapsed. They had to cut open her rib cage and insert a tube just so that she could even breathe. The TCI clinic where she had it done didn't even apologize for this life threatening mess they had made and stop me if I sound crazy here, they should. Yeah, an apology would be lovely. In at number 7 now, we have her Elena Grace. She went under the knife for a tummy tuck to boost her self confidence but that left her with a lot of excess skin. She then had another operation to fix this and when she woke up, the doctor said it had been a success and that they'd removed 7 pounds of skin. Now while they weren't wrong about that, the sight of her new body horrified Helena. She had no belly button, there were large flaps of skin just hanging out over her hips and a pouch of skin was even sagging over her pubic bone. In her own words, she thought she looked like a man and was very embarrassed. Now thankfully Helena had corrective surgery which was apparently a success but we may never know if she got her belly button back at all. I'm kind of attached to my belly button personally and would really miss it, would you? I mean miss your Yours, obviously not mine. You, well, you could miss mine if you want. Like, whatever. Just move on. And moving on to our number six now, we have Lauren Yardley. Now this British woman decided to have a breast implant to go from a size A cup to a double D. Everything seemed okay for a while, but then two months after the operation, she awoke to find the implant was literally just poking out of her breast. The doctors could not believe that Lauren was not in septic shock. They realized that the scar tissue had tightened so much it just squeezed the implant right out. Doctors successfully removed it, but Lauren had to wait seven months for it to heal before having it redone. She said it was horrific having to walk around with only one breast for over half a year. I don't know about that Lauren, I think it's uh, pretty hard to top the whole implant hanging out thing. That's probably the most horrifying thing of the story. Starting off this list in our number 10 spot, we have Lolita Ritchie. Lolita Ritchie is from Kiev in the Ukraine and she was just 16 when she began receiving a lot of attention for her human Barbie-like characteristics. Her body measurements are pretty unbelievable for a human, but she consistently claims that it is in fact her natural body and she has never had any cosmetic surgeries to achieve this look. She says she doesn't even diet. 
She explained that as a child, she never really played with dolls and was much more of a tomboy type, but she began changing her look and her interests because of perfectionism. She said, I started dressing up like this because I want to look perfect. I think that all women should be well kept and immaculate. I want it to be my own inspiration. If a girl doesn't have beautiful eyes, then they should wear contact lenses to sort it out. If they have a crooked nose, then she must do something about it, whether that's plastic surgery or not. Well, I guess me and Lolita can just agree to disagree on that one. In our number nine spot today, we have Justin Jedlica. Justin is certainly one of the most well-known people on this list as he has had an unbelievable 340 cosmetic procedures in order to attempt to look like a real life Ken doll. This obsession started back in the 90s when he was watching Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous and wanted to be like the wealthy people he saw on the show. He saw that most of them had plastic surgery and he wanted to have it too, since in his mind, that's just what rich people did. He has spent over a million dollars on his procedures that include his nose jobs, brow lifts, chest, bicep, and tricep implants, and even shaving the brow bone down. He explains that he grew up in a lower income family, and to him, plastic surgery is a reflection of wealth. While this type of lifestyle certainly is not for everyone, having an insight into what the driving force behind these decisions is definitely can give us more understanding into why he has chosen these extensive modifications. In our number eight spot today, we have Valeria Lukianova. Valeria is a Russian model and entertainer who is best known for her resemblance to, you guessed it, Barbie. She claims that the only cosmetic surgery she has had is a breast augmentation, but that she maintains a strict diet and workout routine to keep her figure how she would like it. There have been many accusations of her having more procedures, such as rib removal, in order to attain a smaller waist size, but she continues to deny this. After photos of her younger self surfaced, which were much different than her current appearance, she blames people for altering the photos to make it appear as though she has had more procedures. Valeria has found herself starring in television shows and even in movies. She does, however, explain that she hates being called a human Barbie as she feels it's degrading, but she puts up with it because it's become a part of her aesthetic image. In her number seven spot today, we have Vinny O. I wanted to start this one off by saying that Vinny O is a person, but Vinny would most definitely hate me saying that as they are aspiring to be an alien rather than a person. Vinny has spent thousands and thousands of dollars on cosmetic procedures in order to achieve this alien look and even is trying to have surgery in order to completely remove their genitals. They want to be completely sexless and even go as far as to remove their nipples and belly button. Vinny explains that when they first moved to Los Angeles, they saw everything around them was about sex and beauty, and they just didn't want to be a part of that world. They wanted to be separate from the crowd and embrace unattractiveness and shun sexual objectification, which is why they chose a genderless alien as their muse. In our number six spot today, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein. Jocelyn Wildenstein has been very famous for years now and is probably better known as Catwoman. She has been known for her numerous cosmetic procedures that have caused her to have cat-like features. Apparently the surgery started because her ex late husband loved large cats and so she had these procedures done in order to appear more like a cat. It is believed that she has had procedures to elevate her eyes, has had upper and lower eyelid surgeries, a brow lift, a facelift, a chin augmentation, and cheek implants. She is now in her 70s and apparently continues to have procedures done. It is estimated that she has spent a few million dollars throughout the years on all of these procedures. In our number five spot today, we have Toby Sheldon. Toby Sheldon is a man who set out on a mission to look like Justin Bieber. A few years and $100,000 later, he ended up appearing on the television show botched as well as the show My Strange Diction. He had admitted to a fear of aging which is believed to have been the driving force behind this plastic surgery transformation. He had surgeries done to make his smile and eyes look more similar to Justin's as well as having a hair transplant. He started out getting Botox injections but switched to Aquamid which apparently lasts longer. Sadly in 2015 at the age of 34 Toby was found passed away in a room at the Motel 6 in San Fernando Valley. He was last seen a few days prior prior to this horrible discovery, and his cause of death was due to the intoxication of multiple drugs. In our number four spot today, we have Talia Almodovar. Talia is a person whose cosmetic procedures have left her looking like a version of Kim Kardashian. While for a long time it was believed she intended for that to happen, I'm not convinced that that's the case. Talia is a transgender woman and she began getting gender affirming surgeries, which began to give her a likeness to Kim K herself. Instead of trying to change that, Talia embraced it since they are obviously both 
beautiful women. She explained that she used to live a life where she was forced into not being her authentic self, so she would never spend money in an attempt to look like someone else as she finally feels she is free to be who she is. Talia has had less invasive procedures such as lip filler and that sort of thing, but she has also had much larger surgeries such as butt implants. In our number three spot today, we have Pixie Fox. Pixie Fox is a woman who has undergone over 200 cosmetic procedures in an attempt to look like a living cartoon. She has had an incredibly extensive amount of surgeries that include four different breast augmentations, brow lifts, and cheekbone reductions. She has had six ribs removed, and some of her riskiest procedures include an eye color change, which isn't even done in most countries because of the high risk of blindness, and she had a face realignment procedure that involved her jaw being broken, and this procedure could have resulted in facial paralysis. She was unable to eat or talk for a week after this procedure, and it was done in order to make her face look smaller and her eyes appear larger. Pixie appeared on a season of the plastic surgery show Botched, but she was rejected by the doctors who didn't want to complete unnecessary procedures, and they actually begged her to stop getting any sort of plastic surgery. She has not listened to this advice as she explains that she never really has ever felt human, and instead she feels more like a pixie or some sort of fantasy creature, and she will do anything and everything to achieve whatever look she desires. In our number two spot today, we have Nikki Exotica. Nikki Exotica is another real-life Barbie doll and her journey started out very, very young. As a transgender woman at only age two, she knew she was different as she began painting her nails and putting on makeup, only to be bullied for this form of self-expression. This did not stop her from living her truth and she began to idolize Barbie as well as pop stars like Madonna throughout her childhood. In the beginning of her transition, she was in a position where she was taking illegal hormones and she began her body modification journey with injections. At 19, she was already well on her surgery journey as she was able to have her gender affirming surgeries as well as three nose jobs, two breast augmentations, and an Adam's apple reduction. From this point she has now spent over a million dollars on surgeries because she is now on a quest to look as much like a Barbie as she possibly can. She has even said herself that her body contains gallons of silicone. When asked why she had all these procedures she said, I didn't just want to be pretty, I wanted to be gorgeous, stunning, the ultimate. I never wanted to be the girl next door, I wanted to be the sexy down the block. In our number one spot today, we have Nanette Hammond. Nanette Hammond is a mother of five from Cincinnati, Ohio, who began gaining traction when she decided to get herself an Instagram account after allowing her daughter to get one as well. People in the UK began becoming extremely interested in her and her lifestyle. She started her plastic surgery journey in her 20s when she got a breast augmentation, and while the goal was never to look like a Barbie, things really just took off from that starting point. She was actually a nurse for a plastic surgeon, and having the first-hand experience of seeing the pre and post-op transformations is what led her to wanting these changes for herself. She explains that she's always been upfront about her procedures because she simply just doesn't care. She operates under the belief that everyone should be able to do what they want with their own bodies, and that is truly something I can agree with. She loves her Barbie life that she's created and ensures to surround herself with people who love and support her. And coming at number five now, we have Janet Hardit. Janet was an American woman who had undergone several surgeries on her face, but was apparently a obsessed with self-injecting products into her face as well. Now these had not seemed to work as those who knew her described her face as being grotesque. Their words not mine. But this didn't stop Janet at all though and in September 2011 she boiled some beef, extracted the hot fat from it and injected it into her own face. Not long after her skin felt like it was burning so she went to the hospital where doctors found that she actually had a pre-existing bacterial infection that was attacking her colon. She died soon after when doctors couldn't save her life. Sitting at the number four spot now, we have Kate Everswick. Kate wasn't happy with her body after giving birth, and so she signed up with a local plastic surgeon for what was called a mommy makeover, basically a tummy tuck and a breast lift. She left with 34 double Ds and described them as beautiful, but what came next? certainly wasn't. The incision started opening up, first a tiny little bit and then holes started appearing all over and getting bigger and bigger and joining up until she had one large hole from hip to hip that she could literally stick her finger right in and not touch anything. How horrifying is that? Surgeons essentially had to sew her back up again and the whole ordeal has not only left her with large scarring but also made her infertile for life. Moving on to number three, we have Mimi Valdez. This Texan woman 
travel to Mexico with her niece for plastic surgery as it was a lot cheaper to get it done there than in the US. She wanted to have excess saggy skin removed after losing 130 pounds in weight. When they arrived at Hospital Jerusalem in Tijuana, they said it looked more like a shopping mall clinic than the hospital they saw on the website. Still, they went ahead with their operations. Now, when they awoke and removed their bandages, they were horrified to find skin hanging out of their incisions. They ended up fighting for their life in a proper hospital somewhere else and are now permanently disfigured for life. Meanwhile, the hospital in Tijuana won't even acknowledge that they were even patients there. It's good to hear that they survived and I bet they now know why that place was so much cheaper. Okay, coming in at number two now, we have Renee Tarly. This 45 year old story first caught the public's eye when she appeared on the show Botched. She talked about how in 2010 she noticed that something was wrong with some silicone butt implant she had. Doctors diagnosed her with having an autoimmune disease, which is where the body starts attacking itself. Eventually, she uploaded a video that went viral on YouTube of her being able to flip the implants a full 360 degrees. It's a pretty terrifying sight. Renee wanted to warn other women out there to not have silicon butt implants and to love the skin you're in. I certainly appreciate my butt a lot more after that story. That was weird. Moving on. And finally, number one, we have Marilyn Lease. I find this one pretty scary indeed. Marilyn was born with a malfunction of the eyelids and had a number of surgeries to correct this. Now, although they did seem to work, Marilyn went to a new surgeon when she noticed that there were some bumps on her eyelids. Now, he performed a surgery to remove the excess fat on them, but instead, he left Marilyn with a nightmare. She could no longer close her eyes. Even after 30 surgeries to fix this, she still can't fully close them. She said that she has to put on special gel onto her eyes when she showers so the water and the soap doesn't get into them. And when it comes to sleeping, Marilyn said she covers them in gel and medication and then has to wear a sleeping mask to stop her eyes from being scratched in the night. Oh god. Now, she successfully sued the clinic for $115,000, but Marilyn said that's not even close to being enough and that she feels her whole life has been stolen away from her. Well, guys, that coming in at number five are bum breast implants. Confusing, I know. Back in 2015, Janice Stoner wound up on botch because she had double D sized breast implants put into her bum in order to twerk. I mean, to each their own, like I said, I'm not judging. Now, the implants are 650 CC each, and she says when she twerks, the implants move independent of her own body. Quote unquote, she said they have their own zip code. The bum itself looks quite misshapen and unnatural, and usually Brazilian butt lifts or ass implants are meant to look somewhat natural, but these honestly don't, and she very well knew that. Her bum implants were silicone breast implants that she got done in Mexico because A, it was cheaper, and the surgeons also promised her it was doable, and if anything, the better option. To show the extent of the damage, she shook her bum for the surgeons shook, not twerked. There is a difference. And you can actually see the implants just move from side to side in the video. Like, I was shocked. Like, how can any board certified surgeon put breast implants in someone's ass? But then again, maybe they weren't board certified at all. Either way, they ended up fixing her derriere with a buttock lift that would basically remove the implants but still give her a nice shape, which was, again, pretty good case scenario for her, to be honest. But also, like, I just have a question why would she believe the surgeons? Like, I know obviously. They're more educated and more research in this, but like, oh my god, how is that? Just, it's not a good idea. No matter what the doctor would have told me, I've been like, no, nope. At number four is the hole. Now, this one was shared by cosmetic nurse Nicole Montgomery, who was sharing all her plastic surgery disasters, and she cited this one as one of the worst. She said this patient had gotten an autoplasty done by a cosmetic surgeon, and that's basically an ear correction surgery. The surgeon screwed up so badly that the patient ended up with a hole right through the cartilage of her ear. Like the dude straight up cut through her ear. How do you mess up that badly? Like you literally had one job, one. Do not cut a hole in the ear. The results in scarring looked like the patient had been badly burnt, like it was bad. Revision surgery was the only way to fix her ear, but there was no follow up to the website article to see if she ever went through with it, so I guess we'll just be wondering for the rest of our lives. But I hope she did, and I hope that surgeon got fired. If not, I will sue him. Her. I don't even care. I don't even care. 
Filling our number 3 slot is Nikki Belzer. So 35 year old Nikki underwent a breast augmentation years ago and all was well for a few years honestly, but in 2016 she woke up with a weird tender feeling in her left breast. She assumed it was a pulled muscle of some kind, took a painkiller and then went to work. But at work she collapsed and was taken to the hospital because she was in septic shock. She was told by doctors that unless she removed her left breast she had a 50% chance of actually dying from sepsis. Like what the hell? Hell. Going from a pull the muscle to nearly dying from sepsis, like that's a big jump, 0 to 100 real quick. The doctors found a strep infection inside her left breast pocket that had spread to her blood. So for 4 months she literally only had one boob before going through a fourth reconstructive surgery to repair the nerves in her left boob and to tend to the scar tissue. Now at number 2 is Carol Bryan. So back in 2009 after trying Botox for years and years, Carol decided enough is enough, it's time for fillers people. So she got injected with two different types of fillers, both combined in one syringe, put into a part of her face that shouldn't have been. In the months after the surgery she was all good and didn't really feel like anything was wrong, but after 3 months passed she almost became terrified of her own face. She said she couldn't even look at herself in the mirror. Her face had swelled up so much she hid from others and herself. She said her head felt alien like, her forehead was so very heavy that it was literally coming down and covering her eyes. She actually couldn't see unless she held her forehead up or taped it up. I mean it's true, so many people just go in for fillers and things like that and you honestly think like an injection can't screw you up that much but clearly it can. Thankfully she got corrective surgery which improved her appearance dramatically so I guess it was a happily ever after, after a very much not happily ever after. It was a happily never after. And finally at number 1 is Laura Avila. Now a few years ago Laura went to Juarez, Mexico to get a breast augmentation and a nose job. It was bad. From the start it was bad. From the start not even post surgery like right from the beginning. She started suffering from complications from the anesthesia. They had injected it into the wrong place in her spine and that in turn caused severe swelling in her brain. That caused her kidneys to fail and then she went into cardiac arrest and was put into a medically induced coma to try and prevent any further brain damage because the situation was already pretty horrendous. Laura's fiance Enrique came to pick her up from the procedure at 3.30pm and doctors told them that they were still waiting for her anesthesia to wear off. Hours later the doctors finally couldn't store any longer and called the local hospital for help but sadly she died very soon after getting to the other hospital. And like you'd be surprised how many death plastic surgery stories there are out there like it is bad. Coming in at number 5 is Farah Abraham who you may know from 16 and pregnant and teen mom. Back in January of 2015 Farah had a lip procedure in order to change her lips and make them look fuller but it didn't exactly go to plan. After injecting her with a numbing product which she wasn't aware she was the allergic to, Farah's lip tripled in size and she posted a picture of it on Twitter captioning it, girlfriends don't say I didn't warn ya, hashtag botched. Despite her bad experience she still found some humour in it and says she still wants to get her butt done. Well I mean kudos to her for going back for more. At number 4 is Valeria Lukianova, also known as the human Barbie doll. Not Ken this time but Barbie herself. Most of you will probably have seen her pictures online, Valeria is a Ukrainian model and an out of body travel instructor at the school of out of body travel and no I didn't just make that up. Valeria looks more like Barbie than anyone I've ever seen in my life and she uses contact lenses and makeup to enhance that Barbie look and despite a lot of backlash and speculation she claims she only had surgery on her boobs. People have theorized she removed a few of her ribs in order to get her extra slim waist but Valeria has said she achieved the look from gymming and a strict diet. Her goal is to be part of Breatharianism, a cult that believes food and water is not necessary for survival and living by a sunlight instead. Personally I do think she's had some more surgery done other than a breast augmentation because her proportions are uncanny but I could be totally wrong. I mean what do you guys think? Filling our number 3 slot is Dr Kitty. Now this one is a bit different because instead of being a teen who underwent plastic surgery, Dr Kitty was a teenager who was performing plastic surgery on other teenagers. Yikes. Jing Yi Wang, a 19 year old girl who had no formal training whatsoever other than a high school diploma, started advertising her services through flyers she put up around Toronto. A customer went to her for face slimming injections which Dr Kitty performed in her basement and then the customer came back a few weeks later for maintenance injections but soon contracted an infection which she had to seek medical help for. Also side note but how did Dr Kitty even get her hands on Botox injections which are what are usually used? 
used for these kind of procedures? I mean, I have questions. It's not easily just found in any drugstore. But anyway, she was arrested in 2017, and that was the end of her illegal practice. Now, at number two is Justin Jedlicker. Now, aside from Kelso, I think everyone has seen pictures of Justin Jedlicker, our first ever human Kendall, whether they knew his name or not. During his teens, Justin said his procedures were initially inspired by watching lifestyles of the rich and famous, and seeing cosmetic surgery and body contouring as a true symbol of what it means to lead a glamorous, rich lifestyle. I mean, I feel like there are a couple more things than that, but sure. Despite his parents' protests, he got his first rhinoplasty days after his 18th birthday. Altogether, Justin has undertaken more than 300 cosmetic procedures in his life, and around 90 to 100 of them cost him $100,000 alone. His procedures include chest, shoulder, calf, thigh, tricep, bicep, and subpectoral implants, rhinoplasty, lip and cheek augmentations, gluteoplasty, and brow shaving. Wow, that was a mouthful. It's interesting that so many people aspire to look like the Barbie and Kendalls because I remember growing up also thinking Barbie was what a pretty girl looked like. Blonde with blue eyes and I was like, there's no Barbie that looks anything remotely like me. So if you have ever thought that or think that currently, don't worry because you're not alone and you're probably a lot prettier than Barbie anyway. Beauty can be anything. And that's why I should be Miss Universe 2019. And finally, at number one is Rodrigo Alves, another human Kendall. I feel like there are a lot more Kendalls that I don't know of, and we could probably have a top 10 list of human Kendalls alone. But anyway, Rodrigo underwent his first surgery at 17. Now, due to a hormone dysfunction, his breast started growing at the same rate as his female peers, and so at 17, he got his unwanted breasts removed. This surgery, which cost him $3,500, would then be the start of the next 18 years of his surgery addiction. So far, he's had 57 procedures, which he spent a total of $883,000 thousand dollars on. In 2016, after a sixth nose job, he caught an infection which made him unable to breathe and caused a hole to actually appear in his nose as it started rotting away. He underwent many more nose jobs in order to fix that. I think he's on number 10 at this point. And then during another dangerous procedure where a doctor injected gel into his arms to make them look more muscular, Rodrigo was left paralyzed in both arms after catching a bacterial infection. They were nearly going to amputate his arms until a a month later when he finally regained feeling. He even removed four of his ribs in order to gain a more feminine waist. Up at number five. Now at 31 years old, Ophelia has spent over $60,000 with the goal of becoming a human anime Barbie doll. So far, she has gotten Botox, collagen injections, dermal fillers, a nose job, and lip fillers. While she has also attempted to find a doctor to remove some of her ribs, the surgeons she has gone to so far refuse to do the procedure. And honestly, I personally don't understand the rib removal. I don't understand removing anything from your body for cosmetics. I mean, like what happens to your organs after you remove the piece that's holding it together? <laughs> Next up on this list, at number four, we have Jocelyn Wildenstein. She's a former New York City socialite, a widow to a billionaire art dealer, Alec Wildenstein, and he was 79 years old. Well, I couldn't find a lot of information about Jocelyn because she's always denied getting any plastic surgeries. But one look at a before and after picture makes makes me think that she's not exactly telling the truth. Jocelyn has claimed that her Swiss background will her background is the one to thank her for her cheekbones and how they appear, not surgery. I mean, that statement is probably not true, but I can't confirm or deny. But what I do know is that she's completely ignoring everything else that's going on with her face. I mean, something happened. <laughs> Mauricio Galdi is up next on our list at number three. We have another Ken doll replica. Mauricio is known as the Brazilian Ken doll. Now, 30 years old, he admitted that he felt unattractive when he was younger, and so he he wanted to change how he looked to match, you know, the perfect image of Ken. He had his first surgery at the age of just 16 years old. Honestly, what kind of doctor would perform an unnecessary cosmetic surgery on somebody who's barely old enough to get their driver's license? Well, this all started with the nose job and he ended up moving on to get silicone implants in his arms, chest, and butt. And he also had his eye color permanently changed, which by the way, can permanently blind you. Since when are color contacts 
weeks, not enough. In total, he's had 11 plastic surgeries, which honestly isn't very many compared to pretty much everyone on this list. Some of his next cosmetic goals is to get porcelain veneers and Botox to keep up with his Ken doll appearance. Pixie Fox is in our number two spot on this list. At just 28 years old, Pixie Fox has undergone so many surgeries and procedures that many surgeons now refuse to operate on her because they believe that she's a plastic surgery addict. So far, she has had four boob jobs, multiple brow lifts, a cheekbone reduction, a complete facial reconstruction. I mean, she probably can't unlock her iPhone anymore. She looks so different. And she also had an eyelash transplant. She's even had six whole ribs removed. So I guess she's had the most ribs removed on this list. And her boob job has brought her up to a 30J cup. I mean, I guess that's still small compared to Lacey Wilde's QQQ cup, but still it's quite large. She's also undergone that potentially blinding eye color changing surgery. And one of her facial surgeries involved literally breaking her face, which could have left her partially paralyzed. And finally, topping our list in at number one, we have Justin Jedlicka. And he is another owner of the title, The Human Ken Doll. There's just so many people looking like Ken. I mean, can the real Ken please stand up? This 39 year old has over 780 procedures to alter his entire appearance. Yes, you heard right, 780. I don't know how that's even possible in a lifetime. He has spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to make himself look unrecognizable. He is also really aware of the fact that he's literally exhausted the list of possible cosmetic procedures. And he's also stated that he doesn't have a problem using himself as a guinea pig. A guinea pig to maybe cosmetic procedures that don't exist yet. Maybe he wants to remove different parts of his bodies, maybe remove an eyeball, see what happens. I don't know. This guy literally has to come up with new surgeries for the doctors to perform on him. He's just addicted to surgeries. One of the riskiest surgeries included getting the veins in his forehead removed, in which he actually risked going fully blind to achieve. And now at number five is Tawny Kitten. At the height of her acting career in the 80s, she wanted to get breast enlargement, but the plastic surgeons took advantage of her. They decided to put in a very large implant, and once she was healed, she went back to the doctors to get smaller implants in. However, within six months, the implants started to slip through the mesh, and now the implants are down the bottom of her rib cage. She now has boobs on her her ribs. So she got the implants removed entirely, but she had so much damage done to the tissue around her breast, the new surgeons decided to use leeches in order to restore blood flow. I mean, that must have been so traumatizing. Sagging into number four, we have Kaylin Wegler. This 34-year-old mother has to attach duct tape to her breasts in order to give them a normal shape after she had a botched breast enlargement. When she turned 19 years old, she found the closest doctor that was within her price range and she booked an appointment. She didn't even talk to what size she wanted and the plastic surgeon said that it would take only just 15 minutes. That's when you get up and run out of the office. 15 minutes is way too short to do something as intense as plastic surgery. When the bandages came off, the implants were so high and the breast tissue was so low. So essentially, it looked like she had four breasts. So she's been wearing duct tape for the last 15 years because of this botched surgery. Well, after 15 years later, she finally got them fixed. No more duct tape for her. Raji Naren comes into this list at number three. This poor woman was a victim of a black market injections that she received at a pumping party. You are literally asking for a botched face and injection by going to one of these sketchy parties. So I did the research and it's just a party where people just get stuff injected into them. I mean, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Definitely not a party for me. Well, a fake doctor, well, they, they injected her cheeks, her chin, her breast and buttocks with cement and tire sealant. I mean, I have to ask, is this real life right now, if you're gonna get plastic surgery, please do your research, save up money, don't try to go cheap, and for sure don't head over to Mexico. Next up, number two, we have Hang Meku. A woman from Korea became so addicted to plastic surgery, and now she is completely unrecognizable. Her obsession led her to injecting cooking oil into her face. After many operations done to her face, it was eventually left enlarged and disfigured. When she returned home, her own family couldn't recognize her. her family tried to enlist her in a mental facility so she can get help with her addiction, but it didn't work. Amazingly, she actually found another doctor who was willing to give her silicone injections into her already disfigured and swollen face, and she even gave her a syringe and silicone, and that's so she can self-inject. Now at number one spot, we have Stanwood Elkus. A botched surgery left this man with erectile dysfunction 
Michigan and decades later he decided he would get his revenge. He traveled 55 miles to a medical complex in Newport Beach to visit the doctor who accidentally caused him to have erectile dysfunction. When the doctor entered the examination room, Stanwood pulled out his Glock and squeezed the trigger. 10 times. The jury found him guilty of first degree murder and the 79 year old man was sentenced to spend the rest of his life in prison having that rectal dysfunction. That is so brutal. Definitely not a reason why to kill a man. But it, I guess his life got so bad. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so glad I ended on that note. I'll see you guys all in a new one very soon. Want to see more videos like this one? Check out this video next. It's about strange anomalies that were found in the Amazon rainforest. We have delved deep into the mysteries of the jungle to see what we could find, and the answers might shock you. What are you waiting for? Click the video now to find out more.